planting has started on our farm, and what you're seeing here in these clips is me planting corn at the exact emerge planter at almost 10 miles per hour. You'll also be seeing a clip of spraying some burn down in about 15 to 17 mile per hour range. And yes, all your burning questions about what you're seeing in the clips will be answered in upcoming videos. However, I wanted to take this video opportunity to talk about the FBN, the Farmers Business Network. And by the way, these clips were shot on the 23rd where the clouds were already starting to roll in. And by the 24th, we received what was supposed to be 1500 of an inch of rain, according to AccuAir, which has now changed into an inch 85. The Farmers Business Network was designed by farmers for farmers with the idea of saving money, which has a familiar tone of what the idea of co-ops were originally designed for. By the farmer for the farmer seems not to apply in the modern age. It seems to be by the farmer for the greater corporation is pretty much how these things get geared. And I'll explain what we like, what we dislike about the FBN network. This will be our second season with the FBN Network. Last year we had some standard non-GMO, which is just your basic, uh, not even Roundup Ready corn we purchased through them. And I wanted to give it a second year to see what kind of results we would have or what kind of feedback we'd have from the company or how things progressed before I made the video. And unlike a sponsored northern based channel, which is a popular farm channel on, on YouTube, uh, I'll tell you the truth of the FBN network. There's a reason you probably don't see too much FBN seed sitting in that shed of his. One of the things we like at the FBN, and we're able to take advantage of this year, is there's 0% financing. You can wait almost a year to pay, you can 0% interest, and there's no real gains to the price. Uh, regular seed corn through, say, Pioneer or DeKalb, you have your fall discount. Then the price will start to increase as you get towards spring or planting time. The reason they do that is to maintain their pricing integrity. In other words, they're going to screw you on the seed and they want their money up front so that they can sit on it and draw lots of interest off it. It's the big corporate way and when they have no competition, there's not going to be any lower price seed out there until the FBN network came along. Their idea was to offer a competitive seed corn at a reasonable price. And what you're seeing here in this clip is the bottom bags are their own variety, the F2F variety. The upper bags are rebranded Master Farmer, which is sold by the FBN, but it's actually Golden Harvest. The two numbers of Golden Harvest that we were going to use this year is 1438 and 1266. There are multiple varieties of 1438 ranging from non-GMO, which is just a basic not even BT corn, clear up to the triple stack 3122 AgriSure version. The original guys that started the FBN were the guys that started the Seed Finder app. So when you plug in 1438-3122 to the Seed Finder app, what happens is the computer algorithm spits out multiple other brands selling the exact same seed. But you'll get a very funny result if you try that out because you're really only going to get the father plant. You're not actually going to get a line item by line item comparison. Which can be frustrating if you're trying to use that app to get a matching seed. Luckily, I had a good person through the FBN. It's a territory manager who steered me in the right direction to get the right seed. So this MBZ L149 is 3120, which is AgriSure. Uh, it's AgriSure 3120, uh, 1438 corn. I wanted the AgriSure 3122, which was advertised through the FBN, but apparently Golden Harvest would not let them bag it and rebrand it, which very much frustrated me, uh, considering we placed the order for it. That the 3122 would be your triple stack, and we were only actually able to get the double stack because they were not able to complete the deal. Um, basically, if you look through their lists here, uh, which is what you're seeing now, you'll have seen the uh, very lower right one, the uh, triple stack, uh, advertised, and were we able to actually get it? No, we were not. So, a little bit frustrated with that, as well as very frustrated with the fact that only two bags of our 1266 uh, comparison, which is a D120 number, came in, and we uh, called and said, hey, where's the rest of our corn? It's not here. 
They've had multiple trucker issues and warehousing issues to where now the rep is now telling me that they can't get it and it could be up to three weeks to, to even get the stuff in. So we're going to have to go and find their corn at the time of planting. This was not the time to drop a bomb on somebody. It was the time you're actually putting it in the planter. Uh, so their crossovers to other brands are available, usually sold a little bit cheaper, but their crossover to brands and actually being able to get it or owning up to what they have advertised is not good. Uh, we've had a lot of problems with it. Like I say, we ended up with two bags of one variety that we ordered quite a bit of, and we wanted a triple stack and ended up with a double stack. Uh, that right there, after last year's problems, I think will be enough to for us personally not to buy anymore. Last year, we started out with uh, a non-GMO, just a... Uh, Regular corn through the FBN, uh, which is like you're seeing right there in the uh, lower bags. Um, and it made about 167 bushels the acre, which will bring our crop insurance average down. Everything else was the caliber Pioneer. Uh, it was well over 200 bushels an acre. Our return on investment was about the same because we didn't pay near as much for the seed. And there was supposed to be a special market for that corn where we could get a little bit more price out of it. But then that was another fail through the FBN. They were unable to secure the elevator to get the better price. They just weren't able to get the barges in. So basically we're going to more work, more trucking, only to at the end of the day basically kill our crop insurance average. And ultimately probably actually have a little less profit than we would have having actually paid more for better brands of seed. It was a little bit of a gray area or, or break even there because, uh, like I said, the seed was a significant savings. Uh, if you look at it on a per acre basis. Another thing the FBN has is chemicals, which you're seeing here. We bought a lot of chemicals through them. Generally speaking, they're all going to be generic. And yet again, more products that they said they were going to get that they couldn't get. And they switch over to a generic uh, cheaper lesser version and you have to really watch what you're buying through them and you have to combine names and put different names of chemicals together so at the end of the day did we save a little money not much over buying it locally at other chemical dealers are we going through more hassle yes we are um the only real advantage with the fbn network that i've seen up to this point is having a rep on hand about any time you can get a hold of them and the good term financing if you wanted to finance your seed corn for short term if you're like us you want summertime grain contracts or your grain contracts are not in the fall then you want to expense it out throughout the next year it's, it's it's a great opportunity to do that another problem we had was our alfalfa order we ordered a few bags of alfalfa um my wife actually went to pick them up they were supposedly in the warehouse and there was four bags of alfalfa in the warehouse, and we had actually ordered five from them. And the four that were in the warehouse had somebody else's name on them. And then they were supposed to direct mail us one bag of alfalfa, which never showed up. Then the four bags that had somebody else's name on were actually our bags, but because they had somebody else's name, we couldn't get them. And so we just said to hell with the whole damn thing. Went and bought alfalfa otherwise, and said, what's this return the ones we got? Well... What happened was we continued to get invoice for it, for stuff that never showed up and they don't have a clue and had other people's names on. So the company has a lot of screw-ups and a lot of growing pains, a lot of disorganization throughout their their computer processes, getting your account into what you want. Uh, it's, it's frustrating. And like I said earlier, at the time of needing the product is not the time to figure out that they made a bunch of mistakes. And that's the biggest thing is turning me off on the seed chemicals from the FBN or, or forever buying from them again is their chronic mistakes. There are other services the FBN does offer such as ag land financing and even health insurance, which I've looked into both a little bit just to realize there are not a whole lot of opportunities with either one of them. Um, seed and chemicals is where you're going to save your money. And that's what we thought we were going to be doing, was saving a few dollars buying there, as well as the good term financing they had against 0% for a year. And we really liked the uh, territory rep they have, because we were uh, part of our plan was to buy some golden harvest anyway. Kind of two birds with one stone. But after last year's 
what we feel is lower than expected yields from from the product uh, not having the proper markets for they fell through then to go to this year and have chronic logistic problems uh, with the company and not only the chronic logistic problems chronic logistic problems to where you get bombshells dropped on you in the middle of planning uh, and barely can get a call back from these people i think this will be the last time i use the fbn network um most guys know there's uh, a membership fee, and if you don't know, it's 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 seven hundred dollars a year to to join the membership for the FBN. Uh, again, that's just like saying you're gonna pay a bunch of money so you can come in here and join this club. Uh, if you're offering something cheap, offer it cheap. Don't add a bunch of money on top of it. Just just raise your price a bag a, a dollar a bag. That's just trying to lock in is all it is. So anyway, hope that explained a little bit, and I will talk about it more in upcoming videos as well as everything you're seeing in the pictures and the video clips that's probably got everybody's curiosity. Thanks for watching, and if you've had FBN seed yourself or want to know more about it, drop in the comments. I'll talk more about it, and I'll talk more about it in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching.